going to put it down a little bit so that uh, maybe it's better like that. Okay? Okay, yeah, much better, much better. Thank you, you're welcome, you're welcome. Now I, I look a little bit more natural, let's say it that way. Okay, so, um, yeah, we are in 720 feet, also it's fine. And as I said, you know, I did my homework. I got also my cup with uh, some water, just in case I rang off, uh, you know, just in case my, my throat is gonna be kind of thirsty. But the most important thing that, hey, ciao Lakshman, welcome back. So I, I want to tell you, welcome to Design Talk Friday which is our, you know, weekly rendezvous, re weekly meeting here on this uh, YouTube channel. Uh, that is, by the way, it's growing, okay? I, I mean, I wish it would grow a little bit faster, but I'm very happy, quite satisfied that I'm getting uh, quite a lot of, uh, of uh, uh, followers, uh, new followers. And if any of you are new, please uh, manifest yourself, say hello, Ciao Vikash, how are you? I'm happy that you are back. Just finished a color design jewelry. Wow, that's cool. I hope it was nice. I hope it was nice for you. It was a very good experience. Sometimes I, I did the, the jewelry in uh, design uh, school, in design schools, uh, several times. I won, twice I was in uh, Umeo University in Sweden. Several times in Italy, of course, but that's um, closer, it's easier, and uh, was very nice. And I did it also in France, in twice at uh, Valenciennes, uh, Ecole de Design Industriel. So it was very, very nice. Max, yes, your Instagram brought me here. All right, Max, I'm very happy that you are here. And subscribe, please subscribe to this channel, okay, so you can stick with us and with myself. All right. Yeah, cool. The jury is uh, the jury is something really nice because in general, there are some jury people that try to be very polite, uh, not to, how can I say, to be very careful with words so that the students are not blessed. And instead, you know me, <laughs> I'm very honest. So when I am in the jury, sometimes uh, looks like I am a little bit uh, an like explosion of uh, passion, but at the same time of truth. I'm always trying to give, of course, some constructive uh, feedbacks. And, uh, and then at the end, the students understand. And the teachers sometimes feel like uh, I'm exaggerating. But one thing that they don't understand that we don't have to lie to students. And we don't have to be too politically correct because students are very young and they might get confused and they might understand something different than what is the real meaning. So in my case, I always say the truth. So there is no doubts, okay? Whether it's nice, medium, good, or bad. All right. Uh, uh, Adam, ciao Adam. I live 30 kilometers from the French border. All right. <laughs> no, I am far from the, well, it depends where. where. Uh, Adam, you are in, uh, I forgot, I'm sorry. Tell me again, Adam. I think you are in Germany. Right? Or in Belgium. Ciao, Rasman. Welcome back. So now we are 15 people. It looks nice. Okay. Uh, but I am close to Paris, okay? Germany, yes, I remember. Germany. Yeah, it's about uh, four hours from here in, 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 in a car. Uh, I, I did it once, twice in the car, uh, by car. And uh, I, am, I am very close to Versailles, okay? Where is the big, uh, nice castle, Chateau de Versailles? Okay, so what are we going to talk about today? As I told you, we have to go back again to this uh, car design jobs and related jobs that open up the possibilities, you know, for any car design students once that uh, the student is out of school, no matter what school, okay, but it has to be a design school, especially transportation design school, okay? Once it will be, uh, hey, Anze, ciao, ciao, Anze, ciao. Thanks for being here. 
I hope I pronounce well your, your, uh, your name. So, as I said, I did my homework, okay? And uh, we're gonna talk, we're gonna go step by step because I really wanna try to make this clear. And of course, once I do that, please, after you ask me all the questions you want, that you want, and I will try to give you my best answers, okay? My best honest answers. So first of all, let's start. Card designer, it's the title that you get once you are out of school, which means that you have your portfolio. And now, portfolio is an important keyword, so be careful about the keywords of this design talk. Portfolio, it's everything. Therefore, you have to take care about your portfolio to make sure that your portfolio will stand out within the crowds of portfolios. Because what you know, by now you know, but I tell you again, just in case you forgot, that when you will be graduating, a lot of other people in many different countries in other colleges, schools, university that offer design and transportation design will be probably uh, graduating within the same week as you. This means that on the market, in the next couple of weeks, there will be a lot of portfolios traveling. They will go into the emails you know, they will go onto the website, they will go into all the channel that you students can find in order to make sure that uh, people like me and other people, and more important than me, can receive, see your work and probably give you, offer you uh, a meeting, okay? An exploratory meeting, and therefore get the job of your dreams, which is car designer. So, the keyword number one for this design talk is portfolio. The quality of your portfolio, the skills that you show in your portfolio, the way you present your portfolio, the way you talk about your portfolio. And remember the things that we said in the other design talks. It's not just how the portfolio put together and the importance of your projects. It is how complete it is, project by project. It is also about the skills, whether they are digital, Photoshop, okay, uh, or manual skills, real sketches, which are very important in your portfolio. Don't make the mistake, I always say it, don't make the mistake that you don't put freehand sketches. And if you do, don't put the bad ones, put excellent, Excellent freehand sketches in perspectives from top view, from three quarter view, whatever you want, whatever you want. All right, so that's what you have to do. Once you do that, don't forget the way you speak about your portfolio, the way the storytelling, okay, project by project, what you want to say, what is more important, what is your key message and stuff like that. And then, as we said at the end, it's this, the body language. Be careful with your body language because if you move too much, the people in front of you, they're gonna, or they're gonna laugh, or they're gonna say, this guy is crazy. Is this guy serious? How can we put a guy like that into our team? Especially if you are in Northern Europe, where people are much more, and maybe Adam can confirm that, People are a little bit more, uh, you know, how can I say, a little bit colder, colder than Southern Europe. Okay, you see me, I'm from South Italy. I'm already moving too much for, for certain cultures, okay? But then you can use your hands the way I do, for example, to convey a message, you know, to make a, a message stronger, to capture the attention, but you don't dance with your hands, with your arms and everything, because believe me, there are a lot of people do that. So you have to put all those things together. And once all those things go together, very good chances are that you are in a very good position to make an outstanding 
presentation. All right? Now, let me read uh, Shubham. Joshi. Hey, ciao, Shubham. I'm reading your comment. Ciao, Mr. Luciano. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to you. No, good evening to you. Subam here from Brighton, UK. Dang it. Good afternoon to you too. Have been following you on Instagram for a while. First time attending your live. Okay, Shubham, please stay on this live. Don't go away because I have a lot of things to talk about. And subscribe. Okay, subscribe to my channel. By the way, thank you very much for following me on, on Instagram. Okay, I hope that you like uh, the content. Uh, 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 that, that, that I that I am uh, putting on, okay. Sophisticated, Vikash, <laughs> in what sense? Okay, cool, yeah. Sophisticated, yeah. Okay, so, now that we got all this, that you have your portfolio, that you have everything, so Adam is writing something, so often it happens that when you sit, interview, the auditors sit like statues. Yeah, and you know why they do that? There is a they, thank you, Shubham. You know, Adam, this is a message for everybody. People are like statues. You know the way you, you know me, okay? You follow me. And you see how I am with you. We have a, a relationship that is, I would, I mean, we don't know each other by real people, but it's, I would say, you are my friends. Therefore, I have a license of conduct with you that is much friendly. It's normal. Besides, I'm not here to, to interview you for the job. I'm here to give you, to share my experience and my, and my know-how to help you, okay? But when you see me during an interview for an internship or for a job interview at work, I'm not like this. Oh, method, okay. So, good. Method, take your walk, but listen to me. <laughs> okay, it's like a podcast. Then I have a question about podcast, okay? I have a question, but we, I will ask the question later on. So what happens is that we don't move too much, we don't do much, because we want to see your reaction. How are you going to react? Because if I stay there, okay, and I'm, and I tell you, okay, nice meeting you. My name is uh, Luciano Bove, and I'm a design manager. So you're gonna interview with me. Uh, I have been, uh, I don't know. I will say probably I have been a teacher in school. Therefore, I I tell him in a way, be careful because I know what I'm waiting from a good design student, okay, or a next design student, and then I let him talk. I don't do much. Because in that moment, I'm studying the person. I'm studying them in a point of view, from a point of view of psychologic. Is he nervous? Is he sweating? Is he shy? Is he arrogant? Is he humble? Or she, eh? Uh, <laughs> I don't want to talk always uh, male. Male and female. Uh, is making too much of show off. It's disturbing me. He's correct. Is he educated? Uh, he, does he yell when he, when he talks? Um, if I talk, does he talk on me? Does he cut my words? You know, all that stuff. And the best way to study that is at the beginning, don't do anything. Just let him perform. So I'm telling you, be careful. <laughs> be careful about that. Aryan Jashwal, hello, good evening, sir. Sorry I'm late. Don't worry. We just started, okay? We were also waiting for people, so that's okay. Now we are 24, we started, we were five or 10, and, and now we are getting into the, into the main topic. Okay, so you're totally different person, being an auditor. Yeah, Lakshman, yes, in a way, yes, okay. Then there is a second step during a meeting. If I start having a trust in the young person, okay? Then, hey, ciao, leads the following. You just started 20 minutes in? Yeah, almost, almost. But at the beginning, there was a little bit of my music. I showed my homework, which is uh, the, the scheme I will be following, talking about this topic again, trying to be a little bit more precise, because I know that some of the people are a little bit uh, scared. So we are going 
step by step. So now we are the first step, portfolio and portfolio interview to get the job. And I was saying, it, it, during this job interview, as Adam say, people generally, they are like statues. Don't, we don't talk too much. But if we see that we like the portfolio, we see, for example, that uh, there is a sort of a feeling, you know, because this is, uh, it's like of friends or boyfriends and girlfriends, you know, love at first sight. It's a little bit like that too. So if we see that there is that electricity going on, even if I try to contain myself, then I, I feel like I want to communicate more. And then the magic happens. You start talking almost like this guy is getting, or this girl is getting ready to be part of your team. Or that you could, you are thinking, I'm going to give a proposal. I'm going to make a proposal. I'm going to talk to him seriously. I see the portfolio, the portfolio is good. The guy, uh, the girl, it's educated. He's not arrogant. When he, when he talks, he doesn't look like a clown. He doesn't yell. And uh, he looks, it looks very educated. The, the age is right. I'm searching desperately for a new designer, for a couple. And maybe this is the first one. Why do I have to wait for the artist if I'm already happy with what it's happening now. Then in that case, I will open myself more. And then I will start laughing. I will start saying a little joke so that I can uh, break the ice and help the student to feel more relaxed because I can imagine how people feel when they are in, during an interview because I went through that many times. You know, and not just when I was very young, okay? Because when you change a job or when you search for a new job, or when people call you, when the people call you, even if uh, you don't accept, um, sometimes you go for an interview just to test yourself, you know? So that's a, a very emotional moment, even when you are 40 years old, <laughs> you, know? you don't have to be 25 or 22 to feel that way. So this is, the very first part. So we get to the job and I, yes, I'm offering you the job. The company, the big company is offering you the job. Okay. Hey, Georgie. Ciao. Welcome back. So we are at the beginning of our, the real beginning of our design talk. And there is Liz the following that is writing something. Liz the following. What is your real name? I forgot. Please. Can you, can you write it? I mean, I don't know if you can, but... <laughs> how, would, how good would your portfolio be if it's your first time in car design? No, it's, uh, it's not this uh, Leeds. It's uh, Rob. Yeah, Rob. It's not this. Because in reality, um, when you start... Okay, you have a portfolio and you, your portfolio has a, has a certain level, you know, if you compare to your class or if you compare to other porf portfolio coming. If I, I call you for an interview, a real interview, means that I already checked the creative level of that portfolio compared to the others. And there must be something that for me it's better than the others. So in this case, if I'm offering between quotes a job, a first job, I don't care about the experience. Of course, if you have an internship, for example, if you made an internship, that's great. And an internship, it's a, a plus for me. Because in that CV, when I see that you had an internship, I say, okay, this person was already working in a team for about, I don't know, four months, three months, that's good. And uh, maybe there is a letter of the previous employee that's employer that says uh, uh, this person was uh, our intern uh, from this period to this period and it was very nice and, and it can be useful to anybody who needs a good design. You know, sometimes I wrote those letters, recommendation letters to my ex uh, uh, interns, you know, especially the good ones, of course, so that because I put my name in it, all right? So I, I have always, I'm careful. But if the guy or the girl was really good 
I write it with a lot of pleasure. Okay. So let me see if they still uh, sir, what if a person is shy and doesn't talk that much, but he's good at his work. But the most important thing is that the work is good. If you are shy, you don't don't talk too much. That's not that bad. Of course, I always give you the example of when everything is perfect, right? When all the elements fit together. But if one of those, you know, it's a little bit lower than the others, that's no big deal. So don't worry. What we really don't like, it's uh, unpolite people, arrogant people, people that yell, people that uh, don't know how to what to say about their portfolio, people that show a portfolio and then in their portfolio there are two, three bad things and they didn't have the feeling, the understanding to take them away. That means that they don't have a very good critical eye. That's bad. You know, stuff like that. Ishan, good evening, sir. Sorry for joining late. Don't worry, it's fine. Rob, when are you doing those car design reviews from viewers? Ah, that's Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday. I already received some. Huh? Hey, guys and girls, if you want to show me few of your sketches for my, your sketch, my feedback on Tuesday, send it to me. Huh? You can send it to me via Instagram, all right? You put it in the chat, but not too many. Yeah? Three, two images. It's enough for me to understand your level, what you are doing good, what you are doing bad. You can send it in the chat and I will make a selection of a few of those, okay? So don't forget, your sketch, my feedback, next Tuesday, live here on this channel, all right? What do you, what think you are by my uh, what think you are by my portfolio when you're doing those card uh, uh, I add a Maria and Stein uh, Isaac it's at 5 p.m. on Tuesday 5 p.m. Ciao Matteo Matteo Fraccavento Hey ciao ciao Matteo come stai come va <laughs> okay, Matteo, probably you just got it in. Okay, we started. We we are we started already since almost. Uh, let me see, three minutes. Uh, I have to run. Take care, Luciano. We watch the complete video later. Okay, no problem, Patricio. Grazie, grazie. Ciao, and happy life in Florida. I mean, you're so lucky to be in Florida. Ah, what do you think about my portfolio? Uh, Adam, I've seen several portfolios. When did you send it to me? Did I answer you? Because uh, I think it, if you send it to me, I answer to you. Uh, tutto bene, sono appena entrato, grazie, come sta? Io bene, grazie, a te, tutto a posto. Okay, allora, so, let's, uh, let's go on, let's go on. All right, so, when we get all this, which solutions do we have to get a job? On LinkedIn, I have to go and check because on LinkedIn, I really don't go too many times. Adam, I'm sorry. I'm going to go and check, okay, in the, my messages. And I will answer to you. Don't worry. For sure. <laughs> Look, I'm signing here now, Adam, on LinkedIn. I'm writing down, okay? So after the this live, I will do it. Why didn't you ever work for Ferrari Lamborghini? Would you have liked to? No. <laughs> Rob, no, because Ferrari Lamborghini, even if they are beautiful cars, you have to know that Lamborghini is my, my favorite. And the latest Ferrari, I love them. You know, Flavio Manzoni is doing a great job there. And some of the good designers are some of my ex students. So I'm very proud of them. Okay. But the thing is that uh, I am a man of those big companies, mass production, many different projects. I've done so many different projects. I, I find it very fun, much fun, okay? Then doing few cars, uh, even if they are so beautiful, so valuable uh, brand, uh, that's, but that's why I'm more a 360 degrees type of designer. Uh, Andrew, ciao Andrea, come va? Sied, what if the person who makes a design portfolio works not only on the design, Practically, we help uh, the interviewer. 
uh, uh, practicality. What do you mean by practicality? See it. Explain that your design is a functional design. What do you mean by practicality? And then I will answer to you. Can I get your email? I want to send my portfolio, please. All right, Devanga, if you send me all your portfolio for a real uh, feedback, you have to pay. <laughs> it's not for free, okay? But if you want to send me a couple of sketches and I give you a feedback, a quick feedback, yes, that's possible, okay? All right? Uh, yeah, Isaac, I agree with you. Uh, Okay, um, it solves problems. Uh, how? Uh, yeah, I see it. It's part of our design job. So we don't do just styling. We do design. Design means problem solving. So uh, it's part of what I'm saying. All right. Good. Uh, here uh, have to go. Okay, method. Don't worry. Don't worry, method. You will watch the the recording of this video tomorrow or anytime you want. Thank you anyway for being with us for thirty minutes. So what happened to the Renault Design Studio in India? Is it closed? No, it's not closed. Why? <laughs> uh, uh, leave a uh, uh, like, guys. <laughs> okay. All right, so let's go back. So when you get uh, to portfolio, you have several choices, okay? A, B, C, and D to get a job, all right? Andrea, tutto bene, studio disegno e inglese, sono state utili. Signori che scrivono in ultima live. Uh, no, non funziona. It doesn't work. In fact, I am with my telephone here, as you can see. Uh, the problem is that my, my MacBook Air uh, is a 2016 model and the CPU is not strong enough. So every time OBS makes uh, the automatic ratio or how I could go live, the resolution is so low, but so low that it's really useless. So I prefer to take my telephone, and of course I have to take care of a new computer probably to make a better quality live. But I'm thinking about that, okay? That's for, for the moment. But thank you anyway, Andrew. Uh, unfortunately, I have to go as well. Bye-bye. Charles Jerd, no problem. Anish. Ciao, Anish, don't worry, even if you're late. The, the good thing is starting now. So, as I said, when you get your portfolio and everything's ready, okay, you have basically four options to get a job. Let's find, let's check those options one by one so that uh, we can think about it we, and we can make a few considerations together. Number one is the A solution, which is the best one, and this uh, basically reserved to the best students, the highest talent, the one that have everything right, that they have a very good portfolio, they totally, they are just correct and ready to work into a big design studio of a big company, a big brand. And this happens because mainly their talent. It's not just their skills, okay? They're very good in sketching, illustrating, but it's really their talent, their talent and their creative talent. Therefore, we find such high creativity that we blow away. So we want to have a people like that because even, even if that type of creativity we cannot produce, but that creativity will push the studio and also us managers that we are a little bit, uh, you know, <laughs> we are not young anymore, okay? to be more creative and sometimes to make breaks, your know, breakthrough. So that's why the highest talented students have that have the good attitude and everything, they have a very good chances to get into the big studios, okay? In the big studios, so like in Renault Group, you know, every studio of Renault Group that uh, that we have in the world, or General Motors, uh, Fiat, uh, Alfa Romeo, Lunch, uh, FCA, Stellantis, Peugeot, Citroën, Neo, uh, and who knows who else, you know, all those beautiful Honda, Toyota, the big brands, okay. 
uh, creative inspires creativity. Yes, Matteo, exactly. Creativity, creativity pushes creativity. Angish, I was wondering, are there any disadvantages for working such huge company as a fresher? No, let me tell you something. To everybody, when you get your first job, the first job, okay? Not the second, the first job, you always win. That's a, that's a theory and practice, and practice into the, how can I say, in coaching about uh, job opportunities. Why are you always winning? Because in your first job, whether it's a big company or a small company, you start gaining experience. You start learning. You give your creativity, but you learn. You learn about design process. You learn uh, already signing a contract. You know, signing a contract is a very important moment of your life as a young, fresher designer. You know? And it's uh, all sort of responsibilities. So, whether it's a big company or a small company or a very tiny company, it doesn't matter, really. You gain experience. So, the first job, it's perfect. Whatever you, you end up. But the second job, that one is tricky. Because the second job choice that you take after three, four years, five years of your previous job, the second move is the one that can boost you up or can push you down in terms of job career on a long term, okay? But we will talk about this in another design talk because this is all another subject, okay? But career on a long, on a long run, okay? Hey, Devanga, ciao, thanks for the heart. Uh, see it. How difficult is to get a job as a car designer after finishing design school? And that's what we're talking about today, see it. So listen to us. Okay, so I said, at the beginning, the highest talented, the best talent people get the job in the top of the top, the big companies, design studios. But the question is, how many each class in, in each class, how many big talents do we have? Well, to be honest, according to my experience, one class of 20 people or 25 people, we probably have three really excellent students. Two or three. And probably you're asking yourself, but why so few? Because talent is rare. It's not common. It's not that you go and find talents on the roads the way you, you buy oranges or apples. No, no. To, to, to find talents, it's really difficult. But every class of students will have good talents. Then there are different levels of talents, you know? But the talent of that class, the real ones will be probably two or three, okay? It was like this when I was a student, and it was like this when I was a teacher for 11 years in real design schools, where in my class I could see, I had 20 people in general, and uh, at the end, the, the real talents were two, three, sometimes one, it depends also on the cycles. There are cycles where you have students that are average, you don't really have a good talent, but you have a good average. And then there is another cycle, maybe the year after or two years later, that universities, colleges, design schools get more talent. It depends with the age, with the, with the country, with the culture, a lot of things. And I cannot explain in detail, but it's like a, you know, like a vague, like a, like a wave, you know? Sometimes it's high, that's a good period. Sometimes it's slow or medium, and that's another cycle. Sometimes we say in the company that the design schools don't do a good job, but sometimes maybe we are wrong. It's not that the design schools don't do their job, but probably they are not 
many talents. And if there are not many talents, for any school it's difficult to, to get out of a student an excellent talent if that student does not have that excellent natural talent. Okay? Uh, è vero che Lamborghini prende dei design come master solo se rientrano tra i 23 e i 27 anni? Uh, Andrew, I don't know about that, but uh, it, it looks like it's possible. Because as I told you, and I told everybody, there is a market age, you know, to get a job, which is between 22 and 27. Yeah, according to the school, according to the experience, according to your portfolio. At 27, you're a little bit borderline, but if your portfolio is excellent, at 27, you get a job. But after, it's going to be really, really hard. Not impossible, but really hard. Okay, so let's go back to what I was saying. All right, so now that we know that, we know that from 20 people in that class, three people already went away because they got the option A. All right? So we, now we have 17 people They are still searching for job in that class. Mukul, ciao. How important role does technically and feasibility plays in design, or is it just about more study rather engineering aspects? Uh, um, Andrew, I have the same problem. No, I'm getting old. He's, uh, he's, uh, Mukul, uh, what you're talking about is very important, but it's not design responsibility. To, uh, to, to offer at once feasibility uh, and, uh, and uh, cost and stuff like that. The, the engineers are paid for that. We work together to make sure that we negotiate together the best options for that project so that the project can become very successful, okay? That's how it works. So designers will learn about that, but it's not mandatory. It's not important at the beginning. Lots of young designers on design studios. Uh, yeah, there is, a, there is a, in general, in every design studio is a different type of age, and I will explain this later, okay? I just want to keep on going on, uh, with what I wrote down on my scheme, okay? I got the experience too. You think it's uh, comparatively common or more rare to find the such talent in present time? No, this period is good. It's not that bad. Uh, three years ago was very bad. Yeah, I remember. I also wrote some articles on my, uh, on my uh, website criticizing uh, that there was basically no talent and there were, there were only bad photoshops around and we didn't know what to do with it, you know. So, but this period is uh, it's, uh, much better, much, much better. So um, then, of course, um, I should go into every design school, <laughs> things that is not possible to check what they produce. But anyway, that's... Uh, That, that's how I feel. Now, the big company, uh, it's good, and it's also very nice, the contract. Because when you think about the job, you have also to think about contract. Because the contract of the job means for how long you will be working in tranquility so that you can make your experience. So if you have a job, a long-term job contract, or a short-term job contract, okay? Now, it depends, it depends on the country. It depends on the job laws of every country. But there is flexibility. And there are also people that don't want to remain in a company for more than two years, and others that want to stay for about at least five years to make a full cycle, which is five years, and learn everything they can, you know, especially if they can make a, a full-scale model so that they can learn a lot of things, that will make of them a very real professional experienced designer. There are different type of uh, visions about this, okay? Uh, all right. Uh, I feel, uh, I feel the, the motivate while seeing others going ahead. Improve and provide in how you can improve yourself, Ishant. Well, it's simple. You should do my online course <laughs> on Thursday. If you want, you can do, you can do it, okay? No problem. Please come to India, uh, to need India. We need you. Ah, Devanga. Thank you. Need is a nice school. Thank you very much. But I know that uh, there is a, there are some schools, okay, that are very good schools. 
sometimes have difficulties in finding teachers that come from the real job uh, world. For example, car design is very difficult. So not all the people that are designers at Tata can go to teach at Need. You understand? And Need is also in a town that I think is not that close to Tata. It's very far from Chennai, for example, where we have uh, our remote design center. So sometimes it's difficult. Therefore, you have other teachers that try to do the best they can. And maybe they don't have all the information because they have experience probably uh, to be on the job the way, for example, I do every day. Uh, or when I was a teacher. In the morning, I was a teacher. I was uh, a designer. And in the evening, I used to go and give a uh, teach uh, to the, the Italian design school. So it depends on situations. But anyway, thank you very much. I take it as a compliment. Andrew, io ne ho 26. Mi sono laureato a 25. Che non sta problemi. Mi ha bloccato quasi due anni. Mi dispiace. A ottobre spero di andare all'espedito di Mastro per entrare in Lambo è tardi, quindi... No, 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 non ti preoccupare, Andrew. Don't worry. Andrew, if you want, show me some of your sketches, send it to me on Instagram, okay, in chat, and I will tell you how you are. There are three people that just recommended to get into SPD. They have been accepted, okay? Okay, they followed my online course, but uh, just show me your stuff, okay? And we will talk about it, all right? Okay, so let's keep on going. Now, so the talents are here, but what happens to the others? The solution number two, which is the B solution, is that you go into a small company or smaller company at the big name to do the same thing. Car designer, whether it's exterior designer, interior designer, graphics, you know, maybe working a little bit on alias. In smaller company designers, we have different caps because a smaller company works more like a family. And uh, because there is no, uh, not much money, a lot of people do different roles, okay? Also the design manager would do a different role, okay? So if for example, in uh, Renault, uh, China, I have an assistant that helps me a cer certain task certain things while I manage pro some projects. In a smaller company, I probably would not have a, an assistant. Therefore, I will have to do also a little bit of bureaucratic work, which is fine, no problem. When I was in Fiat, I was a designer. I never had any assistant. I did everything by myself, even when I was managing. So that's okay. But you have to understand the differences between the two worlds, okay, the two situations. Uh, I like the Thursday session because uh, Everyone over there are older and better than, than me. So try to undo myself. Then, uh, so it's definitely a great way. <laughs> okay, thanks, Angish. It's true. It's true. There is a big variety of people working all together with me. Uh, Race Boy, another 007. Andrew, be careful. There is another 007 here. <laughs> I find it really difficult to communicate with my professor and describe what I have designed. I know what it is done every process, develop the concept, but I, how uh, to market it, how to sell it. Okay. 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 But uh, uh, Razor Boy, if you want to show one of your sketches to me on Instagram, in chat, please do, and I will check. Okay. I, I, in general, in chat, sometimes I receive some images, some stuff. And uh, I can, uh, I give a feedback. The only thing that you must know that when I have to give a feedback to a, a real portfolio and really explain in detail what is good, what is bad, and what is needed to improve, that's a, like a consultancy job. So that's, uh, that's work. In that case, I can do it, but you guys have to pay. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit, but it, it is like that. Okay, I'm sorry, but uh, that's, uh, that's life. Andrew, I have uh, my card design page and I follow you. Can I tag you on my post? I will write in English so everyone understands. Um, Andrew, uh, I, you cannot tag me on Instagram. I made it in a way that nobody can tag me because everybody were tagging me. So I stopped that. Uh, just send me, send me something on my, on, uh, in chat, maybe the link of your uh, page. 
uh, and then we go and check, okay? All right, so in the small company, let's go back. You are a designer. You're going to be a designer, just like uh, your friends that uh, had the chance to go into the big, the big company, all right? Okay, no problem. It's not that you are a designer less important. You are a designer. Also, because one thing you have to know, that the big companies, like it's happening to me now, but it happened to me in the past, also when I was in Fiat, sometimes we need suppliers to help us on the, on, on, on the project. And sometimes we need also a creative, a different creative approach. Therefore, we ask that they don't do just the model or the technical studies, but they also show us their create creativity, their creative point of view, interpretation of that project. And we put that creativity in competition with our own studio. So that job is very important. That competition that can go for about three, four months, it's pushing both studios in a very nice competition to improve as much as they can and in that case, we can see the improvement of the creative projects while the, the project is a work in progress, okay? So, that's why the option B is not bad at all. And the good thing about the option B that is not in the option A is that in B, because you have to do lots of other roles a little bit, you can work on your models, you can be next to the modeler, you can ask questions to the engineer. Like, you can do a lot of things that will teach you a lot, a lot of things faster. In the big company, it's a little bit more, you know, separated families. Who makes the, the, the alias model, who makes the modeling, who makes the exterior, who makes the interior. They are so big that sometimes people don't talk to each other. It's a little more complicated. So... It can happen that in a small company where everybody are closer, you see a lot of things and you understand even better the whole process, okay? Uh, for my portfolio, I'm trying this new thing of going into the aviation sector. That's interesting. Is it okay to dig it from the main segment, which is cars and bikes, to this one? Because it's very... Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. What it counts is your portfolio quality. If your portfolio quality with this change is very good, then where is the problem? I don't see any problem. Ishant. Uh, cool. Okay, you guys are making friends. I'm very happy you get, you're making friends here. <laughs> That's nice. While you do your friend stuff, I, I drink a little bit of water because my throat is a little bit uh, thirsty. All right, so let's go move on. But what is the option C? And most of all, I forgot to say that in the option B, we're going to have around five, six students that will go there because those are the very good average, good quality, but average of that class. So the first three went into the big company. Then we have six average that get into the B solution, which is the smaller company where they do basically a lot of things, but mainly car design, whether it's interior, exterior, or little things related. So we have already nine people out of 20 that got a job, okay? And this within one year or six months. That's, those are the statistics, average. Uh, when should a design student start sending portfolio for jobs internship? Could you give some advice? Uh, uh, Joseph Matthew, I will say this, we'll talk about this, but just when I finish here, okay? Stick around, I will, I will answer to the, this question. Uh, just in case I forget you, you ask me again. Uh, Shubham, if you have worked in some design studios while pursuing your bachelor or master's, can you include the work done there? Yes, of course, that's internship. And of course, every time you do an, inter an internship, the company will allow you to use a certain number of images, photos for your portfolio to show that you really had an internship 
And uh, as I said at the beginning of this uh, live, uh, your manager during the internship can even write a nice letter, recommendation letter that you can show, you know, to the people uh, for which uh, might uh, offer you a job, okay? So that you can include in your portfolio next to your CV. Okay, Vikash, hey, did you get second vaccine? Not yet. Next month, the 24th of May, I will take my second dose. Uh, no, uh, okay, again, Razor Boy, no cause in my class, everyone is doing cars, and my professor want the same for me too. They don't want me to take risk, and it's somewhat true to because of scarcity of jobs around. Okay, uh, Razor Boy, it, it, you can have a portfolio that has a section with the cars, and a smaller section with the aviation. And if you want to go and have a, a meeting with a company that makes helicopters or aviation, like a Dassault system here in France, you just uh, put more aviation, you put in the beginning, and then you put a little bit of car design and product design eventually at the end of your portfolio. Your portfolio, you can, you know, you can play like cards. You take one thing and you make a substitution with something else. The projects, you know, you can vary it. So don't worry about it. Just study well, do well your stuff, and don't worry. Okay? Isaac, the so hires designers, total engineers. No, the so has a design studio. Small one, I know because I, I had a project with them. So I had to I, I was I was faced with this uh, uh, RD design studio, small design studio. Uh, and uh, they they do have designers, yeah. Sm few, but they have. I don't know. That this was around five years ago. Maybe today it's bigger, and uh, and it's kind of a beautiful company, yeah? very nice company. I've been I've been there several times. Uh, in the Polytechnic of the Bari, we were only two car sketch in the whole Polytechnic. We are, going. yeah, Andrew. That's normal. You have the same. Uh, it's the same story of Simone, who is one of my students on my online course. He said that now he's sketching with my with our technique, his products, and everybody's asking him, how do you, do you do? I want to learn. And what is it? And even the teachers are surprised because the, the teachers don't, don't sketch that way. <laughs> so you see, I understand. And he's considered like a, a strange man from another world because he's the only one that he is in Napoli. Napoli. Adam, uh, uh, first Nitish. I'm currently working on Fiat mid-size SUV. We love to hear your opinion. Okay, again, send me the image in the chat uh, at, uh, at the, on Instagram. Uh, explain the, the, the title of the project. I will give you a feedback. And uh, I'll probably give a feedback on Tuesday, next Tuesday. Uh, yes, you, you show lips drawing. I tried and uh, drew an eye. Uh, first time took me six hours, detail one. Great exercise to increase patience. Yeah, that's cool. Matteo, do you know some Issam Modena students? Ah, Issam. Sorry. You have another question? <laughs> I know only one who is a designer, a very talented guy, excellent guy, that is a professional designer for more than 15 years in Renault. And he does exteriors and interiors. He became a manager. But he was so good that I don't think that Isam made him that good. Okay? Maybe that way I was clear. Uh, Anish, completely random. And did you get the on-air sign just for the streams? Yes, Anish. It's uh, part of my new deco. Like this new lamp. Look how nice. This one, blue. <laughs> For my, for my little <laughs> tweezy back there. Hey, if I had to become a YouTuber, I have to, I have to understand, you know, how to do it. <laughs> joking, joking. But it's fun. It's fun. It's to create the right atmosphere with you guys. Now, what about the contract? Those six people that go, that go at, in the B solution, do they have the same contract or the B company? Interesting question, because don't forget, every time we talk about contract, we talk about our future. 
And our future, it means also retirement, the day you will retire. Because if you start with a very low wage, low salary, your retirement salary will be a little bit lower compared to somebody that started with a higher salary. Because you have to understand that when you start and you finish, it's not that you have always the same salary. It's going to be like that. It's going to go up. But in some companies, it's like this. In some others, it's like this. In some others, it's really like this. Flat. It all depends from the company. In a companies, you can have a career. In other companies, you can have the 50% of that career chance. And in other companies, they say, hey, so small, what career? You are here, you are a designer, you learn. Maybe in two years you go away and I get another one. You understand? There is a difference. But anyway, don't worry too much about that. The most important thing is that the contract is a secure, good contract, okay? That you are, uh, that you are not, uh, you, you don't become a slave, uh, you know, how do you say, a slave, okay? You don't become a slave, okay? And, uh, and everything, all the, the, the law, the rules are respected. Okay. So this is the first two choices. Now let's go on the, the last two, which are interesting, but slightly different. And let's also understand to who those opportunities are related. Okay. So we said three good talents, big companies. Six average good students with good cars to play, good portfolio. They take uh, probably the, the little smaller company, okay? But the important companies, but a little smaller, okay? Then we have still 11 people in that club because this is a class of 20 people. So nine people, they're out. They already got their job. Now let's see the other 11. Where, where, how are we going to place those 11? If we're going to place all 11, Ishant, sir, who is the main in the market car? Bike, who is the main uh, car, bike or truck designer? I don't understand. What do you mean by main? What you, you mean what is the most important job in into the design transportation field? Specify, please. I will give you an answer. So, after those, yes, okay, uh, I would say that the most important one, the, the most appealing one, it's car design. But track design is very important too. So when I talk about the big company or the small company, there is also track design. I talk about transportation design, okay? Not just cars, okay. Leading brand, yeah. Yeah, he meant which is the most important uh, I would say car, trucks, and bike. Uh, yeah, because uh, I, that's what I would say, but uh, I'm not sure 100%. Hey, Acid, how are you? I'm happy to read you again. How you doing? Acid Ace. Uh, hello, Mr. Bobby. I'm hoping to apply to Pasadena. Yes, my school. Very good. Bravo. In the future. Do you think sketches... Designs are more important for your portfolio because I'm not sure what professors from students. Uh, for Art Center, the most important thing is your freehand sketches. I know because I was there and I have taught classes in Art Center. I was a teacher there, okay? So, in uh, Europe, the European branch, I taught four years Art Center Europe. So, freehand sketches, number one for entry portfolio, okay? Digital stuff, not very important at the beginning. That's after. 3D alias, not important at the beginning. That will come after in school. The most important thing to be accepted in Art Center, good freehand sketches. Do your best. Adam, uh, I take it this way, sir. If you are a major car manufacturer like Volkswagen, Hyundai, Toyota, your reaction because it is harder 
to please everyone rather than some niche segment. Ah, uh, it's harder. Yes, yes. Uh, mass production brain is more difficult than specialized niche brain because the specialized niche brain it's living on their niche okay and they work for them they know so well their market that they don't have any problems in understanding how to modify how to op optimize how to make it better and uh, with the studies and everything mass production several countries different cultures very shaky markets more complicated and the cost is a big issue in the very special niche market cost is less issue okay so it's a little bit easier but for mass production we are under different type of stress and therefore if you do good job for sure you're a good designer Adam, when can you say that someone has talent and the rest are simply... Uh, hey, I knew that this question was... Uh, I was going to get that question. Well, it's very simple. First of all, are you happy with this uh, design talk until now? It's almost uh, already two hours, but I didn't finish, so stick with me. If you are happy, hey, don't forget that we have the super chat, the super stickers here. I, every Friday, it's the tradition. I need at least one. Come on, guys. I deserve it while I drink my water. And thank you anyway for sticking around for so long. Okay. Talent, real talent, real strong talents. It's someone that was born with it. And there are not many people that are born with a real strong talent. I'll give you an example. Very simple. How is it possible that uh, since uh, middle age period, we today still do not have another Leonardo da Vinci? Or another... Uh, Picasso or another Raffaello Sanzio, the painter. Talents are rare. Then we have coming down from the big marble pedestal, okay, coming down to earth. When we see a class of students, 20, and we see how they sketch, how they learn fast, and most of all, how they use their creativity, how they push the creative cursor very, very far, compared to others, they can do it. Somehow, they just can do it. Then, in that case, we are in front of people, few, that have an extraordinary talent. And the school is giving them the tools and the methodology to take that talent outside, you know, and amplify that talent. And in general, that's what good teachers should do. But what happens in a class when you have few talents? That the average will try to follow the talents and they improve and they become talent, talented too. Not at the same level, but very good for the industry. And then you have another part of class, the one that we're going to see now, where they're going to go and get their jobs, that in reality, some care, some don't care too much. Some, during the, 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 the school years, they give up a little bit. Oh, there is some, uh, there is a super sticker. Thank you, Vikash. Thank you, please. Follow Vikash, follow him, his example. Thank you. Thank you very much. Today it's a very long, it's going to be kind of long uh, design talk, but I think it's going to be very useful for you because too many people ask me those questions and I really want to settle down this in the very clear way. 
Grazie, Vikas. Thank you very much. Okay, I will drink a beautiful coffee. Maybe, no, a soda. Okay, <laughs> nice uh, Coke. I, I will buy a beer with that. Okay, good. Thank you. So, when uh, you have that, it's clear that you have a class. Let me make a little, a little thing, you know, a little thing that you're going to like it. You are going to like this, I am sure. So I take my marker, just a second, okay? The three people, the six people, then we have this, and then we have this. You see? The real talents. The average good students. Some that follow, some that drop. They just... Uh, in a way, they give up. And then you have somebody that is at high risk not to find a job. So, until now, we talked about those people. Okay? We talked about the talented one and the good ones. Now, let's talk about the people that uh, have a fairly good portfolio but somehow something is not exactly at 100% or because they don't give. Don't give they don't want to give the, the, the full potential. You know how many times I, I tell students, come on, man, just put a little bit more time because you have the capacity. And they say, yes, 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 and they don't do it. And that's very sad because they are throwing away an incredible opportunity, an incredible opportunity. And they don't realize that their future could have changed if in that particular moment they would have told themselves, come on, let me do more because I know that I can do it. But they just don't. But anyway, that's life, you know? And I'm not uh, people's father and the teachers are not your father or your, or your mother. Uh, yeah, really interesting. Thank you, Vikash. Thank you again. Uh, can you show us perfect sketch, good sketch, and mediocre sketch of the same color as a reference? I will do this next time. Okay, next time we will uh, we will go we will analyze a little bit the good work, the medium work, and what is considered borderline. Okay, so now there are some people, the good people of those that are not really convinced. Okay, somehow. That can, that can go into parallel type of jobs. Always as a designer. Product design. They can go into a product design company. Because in general, if you know how to sketch cars, it's so complicated and so complete in terms of techniques, skills, product presentation, modeling, that you have all the tools in your hands and your brain, you know, to go and sketch a product. Of course. So you can recycle. When I say you, I mean those people that are a little bit disoriented, that car design said no, they cannot get in. Then in that case, ask job in a, in a product design company. Check all the big product design companies, but also the medium ones. For example, in China, in this moment, if you're a good designer for products, even if you're young and you're European, there's a strong chance you get a job. Because everybody wants to go into a car company. And the, the product companies in China, they're also waiting to renew their products with a better, modern, more contemporary you know, style and, uh, and design thinking. Therefore, the same thing that happened in the car design industry, design industry in China, it's happening for product, for architecture. So if you are an architect and you, done, you know how to do products and you know how to sketch really well, you should go to China right now because you're gonna get a job 100% and you will get well paid. So you don't think only about your country, your, your town. That's very reductive, it's very, too small. You have to think wide, 
Uh, and can you show, okay, uh, it's uh, too much spying to Flavio Manzoni. Is too much spying to Flavio Manzoni allowed to scale? Uh, Flavio Manzoni is one of those extraordinary talents that the last uh, that we we had in the last 30 years that's the truth because Flavio did not go to a car design school he did just architecture he's an architect professional architect and he had this strong passion to be a car designer and probably I don't know 100% his story even if I know him uh, uh, but I don't know if he didn't want to go to a car design school because at that time there were smaller schools and he preferred to be in architecture university in, in Florence, in, in, uh, in, uh, in Italy, or it, it was, uh, his choice was motivated by something else. But he was such a talent, he did not need a school. You understand? That's when I'm talking about real talents. I am a medium talent, I know. I needed a school to learn. Alone by myself, I was able to only a step. But when I went to school, it opened up all new world for me and all the opportunities and the capacity of learning gave me really the opportunity to be who I am today or what I am today, the level I am today. But Flavio is on another level. I mean, that man is a real talent. When we talk about few people, that are able to reach, oh, there's another one, Vedant. Thank you. Thank you, Vedant. Thank you very much. Grazie. <laughs> Applause of Vedant for the 40 rupee, Indian rupee, I think. I think it, that's how you say it. Grazie. Thank you. That's a nice coffee for me. So, uh, that's that's what, uh, what, what, what I want to say, okay? So, it's, uh, it's an incredible... Talent and those talents get the job, the best jobs. It's not a case that he went from designer to design management, design director, and today is a VP design for Ferrari brand, which is making beautiful cars. Why? Because his talent is behind, you know, the designers and the design management of those projects. That's a very simply explained. Okay. Hey, Jonas, Michele Leonello. Yeah, Michele is my friend. Recommended you on Beck Kaplan stream two days ago and content has helped me a lot. Thank you so much. Ah, okay, thanks. Yeah, Berk, Berk it's, a, it's a very good uh, YouTuber, designer, that uh, is uh, making very nice sketches and teaching also. Now he's also in Ink, uh, Ink Tank Academy. And that's very good for Ink Tank Academy to have him. And you have to know that the first time that I that um, uh, I was looking for uh, talents uh, for my website to publish their drawing and talk about their drawing, was a drawing, uh, one of the first times was a drawing of Bert Kaplan. But at that, that time he was a student in SPD. <laughs> so then now we, we became friends. So that's cool. Yeah, thanks. Thank you, Michele, for recommending me. Thanks. But you should go and check Michele Leonello too. Huh? Don't forget. There is a very good video on YouTube about Michele Leonello and uh, Berk Kaplan having a very nice uh, uh, duo <laughs> debate on design and design education that uh, came out last week. Go and check it out. It's called Car Design Education Live uh, with Michele Leonello and Berk Kaplan. You should go and check it out. Okay. A lot of the, his creativity. Yeah, 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 yeah. I agree. I agree. Okay, so... When you go into those products, all right, you are in the option C. Now, in this option, you have, you can be in a big company, like option A. So, you see, even if it's not cars, but you go back to the same level of the big, good talents. Because uh, you, Sony can call you. You can go and work for Apple. You can go and work for uh, Bose. You can go and work for uh, Plantronics in USA. 
You can go and work for one of those beautiful companies of product design in music instruments, musical instruments and stuff, whatever, you know, uh, appliances, uh, medical uh, devices. Uh, you can go work for General Electric in America or in Europe. General Electric is a big company. It's like General Motors. So you go back to good conditions, great studios, good contracts. You understand? It's product design, I understand, but that's okay. Now, one thing very important to know is that when you go into product design and you start working to product design, it's hard after a few years to go back to, or to try to go into car design. It's hard. So if you see my scheme, you see in red, from product to go to Car design is difficult. Not impossible, but difficult. But the other way around, it's possible. Always for the same reason I was saying before. Because car designers are sort of full, complete, for all the things they know how to do, that they can recycle themselves into a product design company. For example, you can work 10 years in car design, then one day you decide that you are tired of it, because this happens, and you say, I want to try product design. And Apple is looking for a next car designer because we have different vision than product people. And there you go with a chance. You go and work for a product design company or for a brand like that makes products. So as I said, in every country, especially in the new country where the, 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 the economic growth is going really fast, it means that companies are pushing new products. Therefore, they need designers. And if they want to win on the market, they need new designers, fresher designers, and maybe international designers. So the opportunities are out there. We just have to go and look and search for them according to our age, of course. Somebody like me, my age, uh, it's, 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 not, it's useless. But some people young like you, it's another story. Uh, sir, see it. Even Frank Stevenson has a YouTube channel. What do you think about him? Uh, Frank Stevenson YouTube channel. I love it. Very nice. Sometimes I leave, co I leave comments. Also on his LinkedIn uh, profile. Acid Ace. I know I may be thinking too far into the future, but do you think it's better to be tied to a car company or to do freelance? No! Thanks to our friend Acid Ace, we will talk about freelancing. Here it's the moment of freelancing. Look, as you know, as I said before, we are here now. And there are some people that just don't want to go into a big company. I knew, I, I know few of them. Some are friends of mine, some ex-students. And what do they do? They say, what a moment. For me to go and work for a big company, it's like being a slave, even if they uh, give me a contract, I don't care. I don't want to have a, a boss on my head. I, I have a different project. I want to be a designer, but I want my style that is not filtered by other people that maybe I don't even like. So I don't want to become a, a frustrated designer. I want to offer my own design and I want my own design to go out there and I want to see it produced. Okay, so this means that you go into freelancing. Freelancing, when I was a student, I also did freelancing. I was doing little things, you know, I had few clients and I was making few bucks, uh, you know, per month to, to help myself when I was studying. But when you do freelance, you can do freelance in basically two ways. One is that uh, you are, you, you, your studio, it's your garage that you transform your studio at the beginning. And, uh, and, and then you get one, two clients, probably you, you don't become rich, but uh, you can live enough to buy, you know, 
colors, uh, computer, digital uh, software, uh, and uh, and also to eat well and and to go out a couple times. But the most important thing when you are a freelancer, you need clients. But if you are a small freelancer, you are alone. And you will be doing a lot of things. You will be doing design, the project. Probably you will pay somebody to make your uh, alias model. Or maybe you do the first sketch model. Okay. You have to go and talk to the client. You have to make the presentation. You have to follow the model. You do everything. And you also have to take care about the bureaucratic part with the taxes, uh, contracts, uh, invoices, all that stuff to make sure that uh, the police doesn't come in and say, hey, you are out of law. I put in jail in, 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 in America. It's very dangerous. I mean, in Europe, uh, in some countries, a little bit less, but still, you can get fines that are huge. So, no means that you have to do correctly. Now, if you're alone, you will have all those things to do. And I, I see people that start that way and then they develop thanks to more clients and therefore they can offer, uh, they have the money to pay somebody to do this job, to pay someone else to do. Maybe they, they hire another uh, uh, a young student or they have interns. They, they pay a little bit. So, that's a way to take that business to make it grow. There are, hey, ciao, Alessandro, Polisius, ciao. Welcome back, Alessandro Cotti, ciao, ciao, how are you? Come stai, welcome back. All right, so those people go into an autonomous type of work, which, believe me, it's not easy at all. It's hard, but that job, you know, every job has a growth, you know, a growth curve. So I will show you those curves. And this will help you to understand in the, all the solutions I, I listed today, how much really, what is really convenient, not convenient, what is good, what is bad, have advantages and good things on the long run. So, when we talk about A, B, C, and D, okay? In the big company, you can do this as a growth. In a smaller company, you can do that. In the product companies, you can do this, but you can also do this. It all depends. And on the freelance, in general, it's like that. Look. I don't know if you can see. Yes. Wait, wait a moment. All right. So let's go back. When we are in a big company as a car designers, we start here, we can, can end up here. It depends on us. Huh? If we if you're good boys, girls, we study well, we work well, we work for the team, we respect the policy and everything respectful and we do a good job we have uh, uh, our career that start here and can end up here can stop before but still in terms of money and stuff it, it's it's nice but we have to be honest good employees managers designers whatever but respectful we have to follow the rules and we have to be we have to understand when the company is in a difficult time, because this happens to everybody, and, uh, and how to help the company, and therefore everybody. In the B, in the product town company, if the product company and suppliers, it's, it's, sorry, it's not the, it's suppliers here, they are smaller, we said. Therefore, you cannot do this, but maybe you can do that, okay? Same rules, be respectful. Okay, you stay in the company until you like that company. If that you don't like that company anymore for a reason or for another, it's better to go away instead of protesting and, and behaving really bad. Behaving bad is never good because all people from companies they know each other. So when CV starts going on the on the table 
of managers sometimes we call. Hey, this guy was with you. Do you have any news about him or about her? So be careful. Then in C product, you can have two types. The one that is more stable without becoming super director or super manager, or the one that will give you by chance the opportunity to become a director, design director of a studio of a brand that uh, does products. And then we have the freelance one that at the beginning it's hard. But if you get the right clients, then you're going to have a huge improvement and fast growth. Some people, some people, like the startup, you know, the startups, they can do this, then do this, and then they do this again. You see? Here. Look. They go faster. High. Then they go down. And then they go up again. And this happens why? And of course, their salary too. Why? Because of the clients. Because of products. They get the product, everything's fine. It goes on the market and maybe do not sell too well. Then you, have a, you get a sort of a loss, you know. Maybe that client goes away. And then you have to search other clients. But maybe the next one, you learn from that experience. And on the next one, you don't make a mistake and with the company and uh, everything goes really well. And it's really boosting you. So you understand how it is? All right. Then there is another part. So now we have, wait, we have almost the whole class that got a job virtually. All right. Remember, in every class, there will be almost always two or three people that will never get a job in car design or in product design. Never. And now I'll tell you why. I'm reading Adam Reservoir. Uh, I know this, sir. Thousands of peps dropping hate on your Hyundai design language on its car. How do you use How do you see it? Dropping hate on your Hyundai design language. Uh, I don't know, Razor Boy. To be honest, I don't know. I don't know how to answer to your question. Adam, well, I have a similar problem now. I designed a uh, cafe, cafe racer, Street Fighter style motor. I wanted to build it, but it turns out that registration will not be possible to Euro 5. I, I'm sorry. That's, uh, that's about rules that are changing. Andrew, Andrea, and the designer as Bertone, or Zagat that have created their own auto carrozzeria. Yeah, but that's something from the past. Today, this is not possible. Today, to build a, a studio like uh, uh, um, in a, um, wait a moment, because I just saw a message coming and I was reading that message. Sorry. Okay. Anyway, what I'm saying is that. Um, in that period of the time, in that historical period, it was probably, it was difficult eh, at the same time. But it was easier in another way because the, the competition was different and the, the market was structured differently. We did not have all those design schools. We did not have all those prerequisites, all those technologies. Today, it's different. Today, if you want to make a big studio like a carrozzeria, with everything there, you need you need the banks, you need the you need the investors, you need a, I don't know a, a super rich Chinese guy, Japanese guy, Russian guy, or an Italian guy, or an American guy, someone that has a lot of millions, and says, you know what? I believe in you. I give you five, five millions euro to start. Let's do something. This is so difficult. Today, nobody does that. We already have all the studios, everything. Why should you add another company like that? It's useless, in my opinion. Eh? Much better to be a freelancer, your own studio, Luciano Bove Design, and you say, okay, that, okay, I, I offer you my, my creativity, I also management quality, and that's it. It's much easier, much lighter in terms of structure, less responsibilities, easier to do. If you want to do a new Pinifarina, Pinifarina will never die. Pinifarina is all over the world now. 
Ital designed the same thing. Zagato remained because there is a, Zagato is under the family. It's a different story. But uh, maybe in 10 years uh, from now, Zagato will be a new brand refreshed somewhere in another country too with different satellite studios, you know. What, what, it, what really counts when you talk about that type of jobs, of companies, it's the investors, the money. Who puts the money and how? And how you find that money? Because you don't need 1,000 euros. You need millions. Uh, think about Lucid Motors. Uh, yeah, but Lucid Motors, once again, is different. There are investors behind it. Uh, uh, Matteo. Um, now, car mark, uh, market have their own designs to car makers. Uh, yes, uh, Alessandro, all of them. Since a long, long time. Long, long time. All right, so I think we, I gave you a panorama view, panoramic view of all this. Shobam, while looking for an internship, what should we go for? Design Studio A, startup, big company, not for... No, Shabam, we can work on freelancers as well. No, no, freelancer, no. Internship is an internship. It's something that is under specific laws. It goes into your CV. And uh, I would prefer that you work into a company rather than do you freelancing. Do you, because that's a, it's difficult to say that that one is a, it's a, an internship. But anyway, internship, any company you want. Don't, don't, don't forget, forget it. A, B, C, forget it. Internship is experience. I was into a C company for my internship because I was doing RV in California. Design, RV design, recreational vehicles, motorhomes. And I have lots of sketches of motorhomes on canceled paper interiors, <laughs> you know, uh, bathroom, <laughs> uh, uh, um, how, how do you say, bedrooms, areas, you know, those big, beautiful exteriors uh, that look like uh, airplanes. So I was not on A, I was not on B, I was on a C option, RVs, and I had a lot of fun. And this did not... Uh, uh, it, 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 it didn't create any problem to me. I, I, at the beginning, since the beginning, I was a, I started as a car designer. So, you understand? Okay, so, now there's one last thing and then we, we stop. The extra roles. Because people that go to a car design school, they can still get another little option, which is small, but it's there, to forget design for a moment. Okay, forget it for a second. And they say, hey, look, I've got a problem in finding a good company to be a car designer. In the other one, nobody is telling me whether they're going to take me or not. I try to go, I don't know, uh, in China, and they don't want me. There must be wrong with my something wrong with my portfolio, and I don't know what to do. But I know how to model in clay. I'm a very good clay modeler. Or I know how to do alias modeling, or blender modeling, or ring or modeling. And I know how to do beautiful images. I know how to make film out of my virtual reality experience. I can do that. And therefore, you can make a portfolio with your photos of your models, your digital model, clay model, uh, film, video stuff, an interactive portfolio, whatever you want to do, you can get a job into that. And then you get a gang from the window, <laughs> you get a gang into a car design company or a big product design company or basically any choice. You can go in a small company, big company, big product company, small product company, everywhere. Because modeling, it's needed everywhere. It's transversal. So why not? If you are belonging to this type of category of people that really have our time in uh, passing as a creative people.
Therefore, the portfolio as a creative people doesn't pass. But switch your portfolio. Be smart. Use your capacity modeling. And sell that. And you might find job because especially in alias modeling, there are always a lot of jobs offers. In clay modeling in China, it's very much needed because they don't have a school of clay modeling. So if you are from outside China, you go out to uh, clay model because in school you learn and you know how to do it. You can recycle yourself in another country and say, hey, I'm a clay model. I'm young, but I, I do good models. I can work in a team and you gain experience. Then you can put, you can be a freelance modeler, like a friend of mine that is an independent. And with his uh, briefcase and all the clay tools, he goes into several companies, sometimes a month, two weeks, one week, two months, depending on the project. And, uh, and he makes good money. He has fun. He loves clay modeling. And he knows a lot of people. Therefore, he knows he has a lots of addresses, lots of connections. And a lot of people call him because they appreciate him. So he never runs out of job. And he's independent, freelancer. All right. So let me read uh, some last comments. What kind of career trajectory can you have if you spend several years teaching and freelancing? Can one get back to mainstream OMs? Is it easy to get back to creative role? Uh, Dan, that's a very good question, but let me drink a little bit. Uh, by the way, if anyone, anyone wants to offer me another coffee, like uh, before our two friends just did, Veda and Vikash, hit the super sticker or the super chat and offer me a coffee. A coffee. I'm drinking a little bit of water because I need it. Thank you. Okay, so the question that Dan just asked. <clears throat> let, me, let me do one thing for you, uh, just in case, doing something. I, I, I am with you, eh? don't worry, don't worry. I am with you. I am with you. I'm just searching for one thing. Okay, here we are back. Okay, I'll put in, uh, in the chat, just in case you cannot put the super chat or the super sticker, my PayPal link, just in case you want to tip me, okay? So just in case you can leave me $1, all right? And I get a nice coffee. So there you have my, you can tip me there if you want, okay? Thank you very much. Okay, so then, um, uh, no, teaching, i tell you something. Uh, from teaching to product design, it's easier. It's easier. From teaching to car design, it's a little bit harder. And it depends on the timing. If you are a teacher for one year, two years, you can get into the mainstream. If you teach for 10 years to get into the mainstream, it's almost impossible for an age situation and because when you are a teacher and you don't have you don't have a direct straight relationship with the car design business it's more difficult okay that's the main reason but when you are young for example i start teaching at the age of 28 i've taught for 11 years but i was always a car designer in fiat I never quitted Fiat. I was a designer during the day, and then at six o'clock in the afternoon, I would take my car and I would run downtown Torino because I had the school class that started at eight o'clock in the evening, and I would teach for three hours. That's what I did. Okay. Uh, what, uh, what if you have worked in the mainstream for 10 years before as a car designer? Um, well, in that case, probably might be easier. 
You mean you, you took a pause, you go to teaching, and then you, wa you want to come back. All right. If you, if you want to do that, I think you can try. But in that case, once again, you would probably get back, not as a designer, but as a lead designer, I would say more like a, a, a junior manager. Therefore, the, in the interview that you have, uh, I think that they would look more for experience in managing rather than creativity. Creativity is for young people. You know, until you are 28, 30 years old. After 30 years, creativity, okay, but uh, as I said, it's a question of uh, whether you are a very good talent, m average, or those that are a little bit less, you know. Because also in car design studios, where we search always for the best talents, at the end, with the time, we have this type of uh, classification a little bit. Okay. All right. So, um, could you repeat about alias just what you said now? Nitish, about alias. Yeah, I said that if you are a very good alias modeler and you have a hard time in finding a car, design, car designer job, then you can make a portfolio as an alias modeler or a blender modeler or a Reno modeler. And then in that case, you can recycle yourself as a modeler virtual modeler and because the alias modeling is transversal to car design product design and sometimes also in architecture then you can you are transversal you can work in many more i mean you have more chances to get a job that is well paid in many companies all right i hope i i answer correctly Jose matthew reminder when should a design student start sending portfolio Yes, okay, okay. When you are a student, the school should tell you, hey guys, girls, be careful because from this period to this period, it's your internship period of time. Therefore, you should start at least three months before because you have to understand that every company has a little bit of bureaucratic time needed to make your documents, your passport, your contract, the insurance, uh, to make sure that uh, they have the time to declare your uh, name and uh, fiscal situation to, uh, I, I don't know, following the laws of the country so that everything is uh, respecting the rules. And you don't do that stuff in one week. All right? So... I would say that at least three, four months before you have to start searching and make sure that when they tell you yes, you send all the information they will give you, should give you a list of, uh, oh, thank you for the cappuccino, Mr. Pranding. All right, thank you, thank you. I know who is. Grazie. Grazie mille. So you have uh, at least uh, four you know, four uh, months so that the company, I know because I, when I had my interns, I was responsible for them. Therefore, I had to go and talk to HR department, prepare the contract, uh, make sure that the security in Renault knows when they have to open up and prepare the badge for the person, the student that will arrive so that he's free to get in. Uh, make sure that um, I, myself, I make some documents uh, that I have to declare the person to several people within the company. So, you know, at the end, there's a lot of things you have to do. So three, four months in advance, I would say it's very good. I remember that when I had my internship, well, a long time ago, I know, the times are changing, but I moved myself four months before. And after a month, I got the, the, the security safely, my internship, okay. I, I went to sign the contract and they took two months them uh, to me because I was a foreign student in USA. Therefore, there were some extra uh, works to do, some extra paperwork to do. All right. I hope that I answered to your, to your question. I'm good at Ringo's or Blend AutoCAD. Adam, that's very good. 
blender rhinoceros it's good it's like almost like alias alias is the top to me in our industry alias is the best but with rhinoceros a blender combined i'm sure you can do a very good job autocad is more for engineers uh dvanga how about concept art in transportation company is that a good choice to go concept art what do you mean concept art explain yourself anish wow this stream is really long yeah i know if you guys are tired i'm gonna stop hey, don't worry what time is it yeah it's almost uh, three hours okay anybody wants to offer another coffee for three hours of talk with you <laughs> okay thank you very much for those three that just did it okay i am very i'm very happy and uh and uh, i don't know if there is any anything else i can do for you but i really explain everything we need to explain and tell me is it clear now all right and uh next week uh we're gonna talk about the portfolio the portfolio quality because this is always very tricky. I know that many of you think, hey, I've got a very good portfolio. And then when I see those portfolios, I say, shh, why? Why? And you think that you don't see, you don't know, probably because uh, of ex missing experience. So that's why it's serious to look at portfolio and to make a serious analysis of your portfolio giving you the feedback that will help your portfolio to become much, much better. And that's why it's a paying job. So just in case you need me to do that, contact me in chat with the Instagram, Messenger, whatever you want, and I will explain how we're going to do that, okay? Thank you very much. Uh, I am at this moment. Uh, uh, okay. All right, so... Thank you very much. I think I said it all. Uh, thank you. Grazie. Grazie, grazie. I wish you a very good weekend. Don't forget Tuesday, we're going to look at some of your works and I will give you a feedback. All right? Uh, è stato un piacere come sempre. Oh, è, piacere tutto mio. Grazie, Andrew. Grazie, Andrea. Jorge Matos. Thanks. De nada. Mucho gusto. Ciao. Yeah, Anish, you wrote it really well. Ciao. Thank you. Thank you very much to all of you. All right. Thanks. Thank you. And if you need, a, don't forget, if you need the sketchbook uh, to improve your sketches and you need a guide, you can always buy my ebook okay on lulu.com www.lulu.com you type luciano bove and you will find all the links to my ebooks okay sketching cars is the best one the best one to buy believe me you buy that one you don't need to buy the others so go go on the website okay which is this one i'm typing down and you type a search for uh, Luciano Bove, sketching cars, sketching cars. That's a good one to buy. And with one ebook in PDF, you have everything. All right. So don't buy the other ones. All right. And uh, well, take care. Thanks. Bye bye. Thank you. Ciao. Grazie. That's it. Bye. <laughs> I had fun. And we didn't have any issue with the internet. <laughs> All right, cool. Bye-bye. Grazie. Ciao.